What is going on, niche gaming enthusiasts? I'm a little rusty, but uh, I just got back from Italy, and I want to show you something that I got, and we're we're pleased, proud, and excited to tell you guys about. As you can tell, I'm already gonna unboxing video. Got my thing ready. Uh, we got something special here from J List. Your friends in Japan, buddy. So, oops, I should probably take off the uh, Japanese shipping label. Yeah, just, uh, re oh, God, it's double-sided. Fuck. All right, anyway, I'm just going to put that on the ground. It's triple-sided. Fuck, just going to put that. Oh, this one's glued on. All right, so I can't show you the bottom of the box because it has all my information, but got a cute little image there. Got some things. Got to say, nice packaging. Uh, so from what I know, I believe this is the snack box, so I don't think any anno holes are going to be popping out of this thing. Um, but those those I'll have to review on, on my personal time. Uh, but so yeah, let's actually see what's inside one of these uh, Jayless boxes. Um, this is, I believe, one of the snack boxes. So. If you guys are interested in those monthly boxes, but you think that, you know, Loot Crate and all that is pretentious and stupid, uh, you can go with J-List. I think it's a, a very positive alternative. We also have a keyword, uh, capital N-I-C-H-E for niche, and you'll get uh, points back. I think it's like, uh, uh, you'll get like points back to other purchases. So I think it's almost over 10, uh, like if you spend 20, you get 250. So I think it's like, I don't know. It's like 12% back in points. Uh, but yeah, so there's that. So uh, we'll, we'll work out those details later. Anyway, so let's actually get into this unboxing. I, okay, I thought I had the tape off. We'll get through this. We'll get through this, I promise. Okay, there we go. So you get the uh, typical unboxing thing. We're not going to do an iDubs money shot, but I'm going to just try to give you an idea of what it looks like. Oh. Very nice print. Share your box. Well, it's going to go on YouTube and Twitter, so I guess that works. And we'll do Jayla's box. And our code word. Anyway. Wow, there's a lot of shit in here. Uh, surprisingly, a lot of shit in here. It was at this moment that Michael knew. He fucked up. Uh, I did not realize that. Anyway, look how nicely that's all packaged. Woo. All right. So I'm a big fucking weeb, as you might be able to tell. By my job and the stuff around me. So let's actually go through and instead of just like doing the typical like, you know, because they're all going to be arranged differently depending. Uh, we're going to look at the different items and uh, to, I don't think I'm going to try them all out. You thought wrong, bitch. Because I will get sick if I eat this many items in one go. But... Okay, so first one we got, uh, we got melon, yeah, it's melon pan. Uh, oh, there's a little English there, so if you don't know, uh, straight out of Japan. And then, of course, they have the uh, Japanese right there in the uh, hiragana, right? No, is that katakana? My, my, my Japanese is so fucking rusty. Speaking is fine, uh, reading not so much. Uh, I love melon pan. It just got a little bit squished. It's supposed to be round, but that's cool. Um, I'm a big fan. Let's see what these things are because that was the, the top thing. This is the next one. Uh, snack DX box that they have here. Fun and delicious items every month. Uh, your friends from Japan. So it has a little check mark thing. Oh, and it has like a little gift receipt thing. Oh, hey, we got a, we got a, we got a message on the back. Ooh, look at that. Well, I, you can't really look at it. Dear Niche Gamer, hello. Konnichiwa. Uh, right now it's night, so come bawa. Uh, hope you enjoy our J List box. Thank you and have a good day. J List box. Oh, look at that. Oh. You should you should get it just for that. It's, it's heartwarming right there. All right, so let's uh, let's actually take this thing is packed full. So for your money, you're getting a shit ton of stuff. I'm already. This is gonna be maybe a little bit longer video. Uh, duh. All right. So we got some, a uh, little bit of a uh, mushroom right here. Boom. Uh, and it looks like it has uh, it's mushroom and butter chips. Actually, I might try that. Uh, and since I got back from Italian, I'll try to give you the Italian words. It's fungi in Italian. 
this is fucking awesome because mascots of the food items are always great. I believe this is like maybe a chocolate pancake. I think so. So it's a hot cake, so it's using the English version of it, but we'll we'll check that out in a second. I'm gonna have to probably eat all these and do a do a like a review and then try to save it in the, the fridge. No shit, Sherlock. My whole fridge is just gonna be J Lock's J J List box items. Um Oh shit, I don't even know what this is. Since nineteen eighty six. Okay, well we'll have to go through these because my Japanese is so bad right now. Um, we got some Coca-Cola gummies. These are fucking awesome. I'm a big fan. And oh, we got some little drops. Try those out. We got a uh, looks like a, a multi-grain multi-grain uh, fruit bar. We got uh, looks like it's not orange. I forgot the name, but it's the same thing. I think um, they make uh, what is it called out of? Uh, ponzu sauce out of some candy of that flavor. Uh, we got some egg milk cream. This is gonna be long. There's still a lot more items in here. Uh, looks like milk and egg cream stuffed uh, bread items. God, there's there's a lot. Okay, now we have some uh, decadent pocky like items right there. It's, it's probably going to taste like Nutella because it's made with, uh, oh wait, it's maroon. Huh. Okay. Well, that's different. Oh shit. We got some, some Japanese Doritos up in the house. Look at this. Woo. This is a Royale garlic shrimp. Look at that shit. I hope it, uh, cause I am slightly allergic. I hope it doesn't set off my, uh, my glands, but we're going to try that out. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna die for you guys. I'll die for you, J List. Tell everybody how good this stuff is. Okay, we've got a crunch. I've seen these before. And uh, green tea flavor, obviously. Uh, awesome, awesome. Okay, we're, we're still gonna have to. I wanna go through it first before. I have a palate cleanser of vodka. Mm. That's so cold, it's leaking condensation. Oh, we got some more drops. I actually I think these are in season. That's why we're getting these. We'll have to try them out. And, um... Oh, we got some more cakes right here. Some decadent-ass items for you guys to try. So, it, it doesn't look like it's a hot cake. It looks like it is a puff pastry. There you go, man. Puff pastries are fucking dope, too. Um, I don't even have enough room on my desk with my drink and stuff. I have to, like, put it on my keyboard desk. Um, God, what are these? They're, dude, my, my, I can't even read it with my Japanese. My, my Japanese is so bad. Sweet, tall, <laughs> fuck, I can't even do it. Oh, man. Um, oh, cool, we got some, like, mochi. I believe that's mochi. This is, uh, sweet yam mochi, as you can tell right there. Um, that's, that's fucking cool. Okay, so... I just wanted to pull those items out because it's the first video so that I could show you what the full box looks like inside. There you go. Kawaii is fuck, motherfuckers. All right. So, let's get sick by eating way too many items in one go and trying to preserve them. Okay. Where should we start? Uh, I'm going to go with the Doritos first. I've been, uh, I went to the bar recently. And I haven't had any Doritos, so why not go bigger, bolder, and thicker? Just like my women, right there. Alright. One thing you'll notice when you get, like, Japanese Doritos, they come in like this. It's like a, a thicker plastic. Just kind of a weird thing that I noticed. Uh. Whew. It, if you are a shrimp fan... These are shrimpy as fuck, dude. It smells like I just finger banged your waifu. Let's see how it tastes. Garlicky and shrimpy. Wow. 
It doesn't even taste like a Dorito. It's very like... It's actually like the smell is stronger than anything. Like the smell... Smells real fishy, but... This actually has like a... I don't know. It's like a really good blend. Like even if you don't like shrimp, you'll probably like this. Alright. Alright. I, I dig it, dude. And I usually stay away from that stuff because I don't know how it's going to affect me. Because I am slightly allergic. But, um, nothing a little vodka won't fix. It's actually a good flavor combo right there. Um, let's go with these. I'll tell you what the flavor is after I dry them. Remember, code word niche. So we can keep getting these boxes and uh, I can keep eating stuff that will potentially kill me. I know a lot of people want to do that after reading my reviews, so there you go. So the base is vanilla chocolate like all these items. But what is the flavor? Let me see what it looks like a little purple now. I don't know what, what it tastes like. It just tastes like good. It just tastes like fucking amazing, actually. Wow, these are good. Mmm. Oh, yeah, dude. I'm gonna go in there. Mmm. Alright. If I eat all of these, I won't be able to eat the other ones. Okay. Um. I'm going to have to translate each one of these and put them in the video. Um, and I'll probably make a note beforehand because my Japanese is so bad. Spare you guys, uh, all that bullshit. But, um, wow, these are fucking good. Okay, that's a treat. I'm, I'm definitely going to be going back for that a little later. Actually, I think I'm going to save those for tomorrow. Those are so good. Um, all right. Now we're going to go with these, uh, hot cake kind of puff pastry things. So what these are like. I already know that they got maple syrup on them. So, okay, I'm trying to preserve these boxes because I want to put them in the fridge. Um, oh, man, I, <laughs> I fucked the box up. All right. Well, it's not like I'm going to save them after I eat them. So, anyway, here's one thing that's kind of interesting. Typical packaging is double layered in Japan. Put a lot of money into the packaging. You'll notice that with a lot of like the construction candies and stuff. If you ever buy one, there's like multiple layers of packaging. Keep it fresh, but also design purpose and stuff. Um, this style is also kind of common, where they have like multiple little pastry things, but they're usually dope. So let's let's uh, do it. Let's do a cross section. Mm. Nice little bit of puff pastry going in. A little bit of cream. Mm. The maple and the butter is there. But it's very light. It's pretty decadent as fuck though. Anyway. Because I'm getting all that shit on my fucking shirt. Like the fat slob I am. Alright. Jesus Christ. So many boxes. Alright. Alright. Let's get this mochi. With yam, dude. People don't realize the power of yam. I cannot overstate it enough. It's a brilliant flavor. Oh shit, it's in a double pack. Look at that. You can share it with a friend. Or someone who's more than a friend. Um, they even give you a little skewer for it. Let's try it out. Mmm. Smells fucking amazing. Right there. Okay. Let's try one. A little bit of a skewer action. Comes with a little fork. Mmm. Some people can't get into mochi, but I really like it. And that, that cream, that yam flavored cream. People are like thinking like it's like a potato or something. I'm gonna save these for later too. These are fucking dope. It's like a um, 
It almost is like white chocolate in, in flavor. It's very creamy and it's rich. Very nice. Um, fuck, dude. Well, there's only two in here, so I might as well eat both of them. These are, I think, chocolate pancakes from what I can tell. Come with a little sandwich. Mmm. Cross section. It's actually um, not chocolate, but like a maple toffee. I would say I didn't eat breakfast today, so this is making them up for it. Mmm. Fuck yeah, man. Oh my god. Well, sad that there's no more of those. Mm, you can't have this unless you bought the box. All right. Mm. Sorry, that thing. Up. Mm, mm, mm. Try to take which will go good with this maple flavor in my mouth. All right. Melon pan. I don't know if you guys have had melon pan. I guess I could eat it and then describe what it is. All right. <clears throat> so this is the little egg pastry ones or egg bread. And once again, they're like mini pastry, like the other ones. Oh, forgot to do a cross section. Oh, that's delightful, man. That's good. So sweet in the inside, very sweet, but the outside's a nice little bit of salty blend. That's good. Okay, I need to figure out how I'm going to store all these. Okay. Well, let's go with the mystery one that I don't know. That kanji. I think this is like a tea cake. Oh, what is this? This okay. This thing looks crazy fucking decadent. Oh, it's a. Uh, it smells of lavender. This is fucking like lavender. This is total like. Oh my god, Amy would probably die for one of these. This is like one of the most decadent tea cakes I've had in a while, and it comes. And a little pack is probably not crazy expensive, too. Mmm. Good job, Japan. I wish I had some tea right now. It would be fucking dope. Sad to say, there's only one of those in there. Maybe double up on those, man. Mmm. Ah. I mean, it just crumbles. It's so flaky, the pastry. Oh. No! All right. I'm not going to do a five second rule because that's gross, but I don't want that on my carpet. <laughs> All right, man. Let's, um, next item. I'm actually going to probably go to the bar and give everybody a try of all this stuff after. Um, what do I want to do? First, got to clear my mouth off. Let's go for the fungi chips, man. A little bit of mushroom. See, look at that. Oh, dude, they smell buttery as fuck, dude. Oh, look at that. Those are fucking delicious. They don't taste like mushroom, but they're fucking good. Mmm, they taste like you're eating like, like a stick of salted butter, but it, if it was healthy for you, in a way, I don't know how to describe it, it's good, mmm, that's so good, mm, I got, okay, I feel like I'm getting into that moment where you just start popping those in your mouth, I do like those more than Doritos, where are we? Okay. Man, those are good, man. 
If you're wondering why I'm doing vodka, it's because it completely clears out my palate. So that I can taste the next thing. Um, Coca-Cola. Actually, I want to say those for, for the end. Let's do some of this decadent ass pot. Look at this box, dude. That's some shit right there. All right. That's how crisp pocket action. Even if it's not pocky, it's still pocky. Comes in a standard two roll slit thing. If you noticed, uh, that's kind of standard for pocky or anything like pocky. Try it out, dude. Oh, shit. They're pretzel sticks. Oh, mine are broken. Nah. Anyway. Hmm. Got a little bit of that, like, it's hazelnut, right? Hmm. They're not bad, dude. I am not hating, like, anything in this box. This is, like, this is a pretty big win. Nice job, JLS, for picking these out. I'm sure as soon as I bring these to the bar, everybody's going to be like, fuck, wow. All right. Hmm. Okay. Let's actually do this grain bar. I, I've never eaten one of these, even when I was living in Japan. So, it's covered in chocolate. Because they know, just like our guys know, that you can't get people to eat these things without chocolate being on it. <laughs> um. Wow. That is like a hyper condensed uh, breakfast bar. Actually, I think it tastes better because of that. And you know those breakfast bars that kind of taste like shit? Because they're like, they don't really taste like anything. You eat this, and it's like, boom, strawberry, boom. I don't know what berry, but there's a lot of fucking berries going on in this shit. And, uh, it's very crunchy. Mmm. I don't hate this either. Yeah, fuck it, I'll finish it. There you go. Another plug for it. Very interesting. Hyper condensed, you know, grain flavor. It tastes like it has like pineapple in it too. Oh. So. Um. Okay. We got one, two, three, four, five, six more items. That's fucking bang for your buck, dude. Okay. Let's, um... Shit. Let's try this out. I believe this is hazelnut. <clears throat> Comes out in nice little cubes. Alright. It's like a toffee. That's some decadent ass flavor, dude. See, it's not super sweet. It's sweet, but it's got like the savory, nutty flavor, which is pretty good. Damn, you couldn't eat one more than one of these at a time, though. You couldn't like be popping back and forth. Wow, that's true. I should have said that to him, because it's like. So much, like it's a very complex flavor, but it's not a bad flavor. It's just something that's like you keep like mulling over in your mouth. Um, let's do. Got to sound so mull it over your mouth. Um. Oh fuck. The box got a little wet from my drink, I believe. Anyway, going on with the crunch. <clears throat> Too much water on this table for my my little drinky poo right here. Okay, so let's do this. 
pull it out. You can see. We'll do the golden ticket sort of thing that they did in uh, Willy Wonka. Look at that. That's something to freak your fucking parents out with, right? Bright green. I know that's not how you're supposed to eat it. I know people with OCD will hate that, but that's how I fucking do it. It's pretty good. If you like green tea, super robust. I, I really like that that kind of like, not sweet, but like kind of like um earthy flavor in chocolate. So, no. Uh, it's a little warm though because it was in the box. I like to freeze it a little bit. Personal thing. Want to try it out? Super good. Especially with green tea. Mmm. Okay. That's going to be chewy as fuck. Um. Let's try some of the drops. Got some of these drops. Mmm. A little bit of cherry drop. Wow, those are really mild. I thought they were going to be sour. Or I thought they would be like really sugary. I'm trying to crack it right now. Please don't break a tooth on fucking camera. Okay. I'm safe. Um, no, it's mild all the way through. It's pretty good. Um... It's very light. It's just kind of something like you walk around with. Don't do what I did with crack open with your teeth. Enjoy it. It's like extremely non-offensive. It's like cherry, but like not the way we do cherry in America. It's very, especially compared to everything else. This is the least sugary of all the items so far. Um... We still got three more to go. Whew. I'm getting some sugar sweats right now. Okay. And there's a, a mystery cola flavor in. Okay. So this is an assortment of cola. This isn't just cola. This is an assortment. And then there's a mystery. Look at this. Comes out in this, um, this cute little plastic thing. Okay. Oh man, I love that smell. It's like Coca-Cola smell. They do it in Japan, they do it in the EU, but they do not do it in America really. Like I've seen a couple, but they don't have that smell. I don't know what it is. As I try to open it from the top like an idiot. Um, so every other one is a mystery flavor. So let's go with the big one first. A little gummy action. Oh, this is straight up cola, right there. Mm. That one's slightly different. Okay, let's let's do the uh, mystery flavor. Huh. I don't know what those flavors are. Definitely a Coca-Cola right here. Don't know what that one is. Definitely don't know what the fuck that one is. Huh. Fuck if I know. It's good. It tastes good. But I don't know what the flavor is. Um, so there you go. Surprise in every box. I'll leave the pan for later because I'm going to just take one bite and then put it in the fridge because... If I eat a fuck ton of that, I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna go into a coma. You guys are gonna have to peel me off of this fucking chair. Okay. I believe that this is the fruit that they use to make ponzu sauce. I am not hundred percent sure, but the flavoring I think is that. It's, it's a citrus fruit. Let's see what it tastes like. Looks like a little cube of butter. Mm. Oh, wow. Holy fuck, dude. 
That's effervescent as fuck. Damn, it's like you just kissed this chick. It's got like a real like. Like you taste the citrus, but it's actually like almost biting into the the whole thing. Like the rind, the fruit, even the leaves. It's like biting into the moment they pick this thing. That's crazy. If you guys get a chance to, try to look that up and buy that. Or buy the J-List thing and, and get that. Wow. I don't hate it by any means, man. Hmm. I'm going to have to save those. Keep those. All right. Last things last. Melon Pam. Okay, so this is quite popular in Japanese anime. You weebs already know. I know. I'm one of you. Uh, but this is severely flattened because I think the box caused some issues. Uh, or depending on like... Um... Oh, wait. was that? It's actually split. That's weird. Okay. It's actually, it looked like it had a cut in it, or maybe it separated, depending on what happened. I think in shipment, it just kind of got bounced around. But. Oh, it's actually the top. Mm. Still tastes like melon pan. If you don't have, like, a Japanese um, bakery, like, I live in downtown LA, so I have a, a little... Tokyo bakery that I can go to whenever I want just actually has that taste so you'll be able to get that taste especially if you're like in the middle of the country or you don't have any um I'm gonna save that for breakfast tomorrow but it's really good it's not it's a rich flavor it's not super sweet people immediately think melon pan bread is like super sugary sweet but it actually is like more of a savory bread item with a little bit of hint of sweetness boom right there it's gonna stay good as long as i uh keep it in the fridge um man that is I, I, dude i am like full from trying a little bit of each item and kind of taking the uh more decadent items i hope you guys enjoyed uh <laughs> getting a little mini review of all those items jesus christ one two three four five Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Is that seven? Sixteen or seventeen items? Holy bejesus! I'm I'm getting. Whew, I haven't eaten this much. I just got back from Italy, man. Anyway, if you guys want to get that for yourself, and you want to get some points to you know buy in your big titty anime figures, like I know you like. Uh, use code word niche. Capital N, capital I, capital C, capital H, capital E. Uh, so you can watch further videos of me potentially killing myself with uh, shrimp-like items. Actually, I don't feel it coming on, so I think I'm safe. I don't think they actually use the shrimp, or at least if they did, they cured it enough to where it's not going to affect me. Um, but yeah, pretty dope, and uh, an extremely crazy good value. Highly, 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 highly recommend it. So um, thank you guys all for watching this first video. Uh, that I'm putting out since uh, being back from vacation. We got Metroid coming up. Uh, review. I don't know if I'm going to do a video. We got uh, Senran Kagura Peach Beach Splash review coming up. And we have Steam World Dig 2, baby. Oh my god, I'm so excited for this month of videos uh, and, and reviews. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this, hit that like, hit that subscribe. I'm getting fucking tired, dude. Holy shit, that was a lot of food. And I only ate bites out of it. So this is going to... Don't do what I did, okay? Have a little bit maybe every day for the month, and you'll be fucking gold. Don't do not do what I just did. Um, oh, man, I can feel that sweat. That's way too many items to try in one go. That's a lot for your value. Don't do what I did. I cannot highly stress that enough. Have some every day. There is so much variety here, and it's enough carbs and sugar and stuff that you will be happy for a full month. Don't do what I just did. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hit that like, hit that subscribe. If you want to donate to our Patreon, feel free to do so. The link will be down in the uh, description. And uh, for everybody who wants to go to JList and pick those up or pick all these items up, uh, go ahead and use code word niche. I don't know how I'm supposed to be doing this. Usually we don't do code words on the website. 
uh, we did a little bit before, but I'm, I'm still terrible with them. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Go to jlist.com. Uh, my phone just binged at me, and I will catch you all a little bit later.